Welcome to 60 Skills, and today's topic is Supplementary Exercises to Initiation into Hermetics. For many people out there, Initiation into Hermetics is their primary training manual for anything meditation related. And it's a great textbook. Uh, it really is. It's been the source of any number of high-level performers in the meditative and yogic arts, regardless of tradition, for about the last 40 years in North America and large portions of Western Europe. Now, the reason for this is very simple in that, uh, much like the name 60 Skills, there are roughly 60 to 70 skills contained in that book that everybody has to be able to perform in order to do your major yogic techniques. Now, that said, initiation into hermetics is largely missing two, two key components. The first of this is body training. Body training is almost entirely absent from the book other than some very nebulous information about asana and some mentions of the electric and magnetic lines of force. That said, Mark Rasmus has an excellent body training program available on his Vimeo channel, and the 60 Skills program makes use of any number of techniques to train the body. All right, a lot of people in the meditative community tend to approach the matter from that of the mental level. This, in fact, works. However, it is also very slow, and without adequate body training, your ability to ground energy into the physical and the astral is very limited. So, body training is a key component to what we do, but the medium that Barden had available at the time, i.e. a written book, is generally speaking not a very efficient way to teach that. Many of the techniques contained in body training are very easy to instruct with video and, of course, even easier to teach in person. And it's also important to keep in mind that the better practitioners out there are profoundly physical people. The reason for this is quite simple. The stronger the connection between your ligaments, tendons, and fascia tissue, and the more integrated that tissue is, the easier it is to move energy between the different layers of reality. And since the physical, as always, forms the base for your esoteric experiences, the stronger your physical and vital component are, generally speaking, the stronger your astral and mental levels are as well, because you simply have more vital energy to convert into astral and later on mental energy. Again, if you approach this whole thing from the standpoint of energy, it's pretty easy to understand how this works. All right, so the main thing miss missing from initiation into hermetics is in fact body training. However, there is another issue that deserves address. The second thing that is missing from IIH that you can definitely get huge benefit from training is that of breath retention or pranayama work. Pranayama is very interesting. In general, it greatly enhances your ability to project or draw in energy. It is, additionally, one of the few practices I've found that may, in fact, extend lifespan. I'm not sure exactly why it does this. My suspicion is that proper performance of pranayama allows the body to work more efficiently for longer. I do not think it actually affects the physical constitution of the body. Additionally, and this is a very curious fact, all of the high-level practitioners I've met who are city dwellers are also masters of, you guessed it, pranayama or breath retention work. Also, you need to keep in mind that pranayama has a reputation for injuring people. This is also unfortunately true. The injuries can be pulmonary in nature, in, order, in other words, damaging the actual physical lung tissue, or they can also be energetic in nature. Typically speaking, if you hold your breath with a full breath, it greatly enhances the electric line of force and enhances the projection of energy in the body. Also, if you hold the breath with an empty breath, this tends to reinforce the magnetic or drawing ability of energy into the body. 
performance of both of these significantly increases your energetic baseline. And as is well known from IIH, breath powers the astral. Now, pranayama training is something that, for the most part, needs to be performed in person at this point in time. And one of the reasons why you need to do this is the before-mentioned injuries are a significant issue with this technology. The only advice I can give you on this is if you want to learn an excellent form of esoteric medicine, look up Lin Hai at sacredjourneys.org. His Buddha's Diamond Palm program is exquisite. However, if you are looking for a more comprehensive and or Indian Hindu yogic type of breath retention work, you are going to have to conduct your own exploration. The primary piece of advice that I can give you in this regard is that if you are looking for a teacher of this, look very closely at all of their known students. Teachers that don't injure their students are the people that you generally want to study with. That said, I personally have achieved tremendous benefits from the practice of breath retention over the years. Finally, holding the breath aggressively full of air seems to also address the issue of yogically or energetically astrally developed physical empathy that is extreme. I have known some people who have become so energy sensitive that even going around large crowds is very uncomfortable for them. Aggressively holding the breath full, full of air, or with a full lung, seems to be a way to counteract this. So again, the program that Lynn High at sacredjourneys.org has is very good in this aspect. However, I'm sure there are others out there. Additionally, if you read older works on Hindu yogic meditative practices, they go into quite a bit of detail about the different things that can be done using breath control. So I would encourage everybody out there to explore body training and breath control or pranayama on their own. And I think you'll find the performance of these two things greatly enhances your practice of initiation into hermetics. Be well.